Hi there guys, my name is Samuel and today we shall be taking a look at set 40374 Golden Zane Accessory Set which contains 73 pieces, 4 minifigures, cost £12, $13 and €13 Euros. and as you can see it comes with 4 minifigures being the Golden Zane and 3 Ninjoids which is really cool and the small one is not Minjoid which I kind of don't get because it was all tall and that was like the joke about it because he was only Minjoid. Uh, Minjoy, but still I think it's really awesome but then as you can see here we have the Zane which is a shame that we have him and Kai but they're not accurate really they need the um, short half mask and their hair piece which the hair piece isn't an issue I think we most of us in Jalo fans if you're watching this have already got those it's just a half part the half mask which is very annoying and the one I'm talking about is um this uh, piece here, which I'll show you a bit in a comparison in a minute. But yeah, let's quickly jump into this. And can I just say, guys, um, this is my third video of the day. So please check out the other two. One that should have come out at half 12 and then one coming out at half three. And then th then this one will be at half six. And guys, I've got a haul tomorrow, so it's going to be amazing. So please stay tuned and I will see you there, guys. Let's jump into the uh, video review. Hey, look at Zane here. You can see he has the shurikens, which I kind of keep with him at the time being. But until I can kind of customize him, give him, customize him, so I can give him the half, half mask, I will not um, worry about changing them out. And here you can see the minifigure that he's representing. I think it's done really well because it keeps it the same. And the energy kind of doesn't continue, which I think that's okay. And overall, I think this is really good. It would definitely be better if you had the half mask. And there you can see the face print. He is the angry Zane, which I'm really just starting to not like that face even more and more. It was all right at the beginning, but now we're kind of getting to it. I'm like, nope, doesn't really work. There you can see that. So I think that does work really well. But what I think would be better, so having a look at Zane, you can see, swap out this head. I think that would definitely work much better. That already looks much better. The part that kind of is stopping everyone is this that like wow that actually looks so much better that does and if we kind of remove these shurikens that's kind of how it should be but with the gold being mark, um golden and then we do have the kaya so that is the second one of the wave which i think is pretty awesome and here you can see that then here is that version which i think so you can kind of see the correlation i think kai has got too much detailing because there shouldn't be um yeah, they just shouldn't be um, leg printing. But yeah, I think that is definitely cool. But it's a shame about the head print. Um, but overall, uh, once we get a golden mask in like that, and then I think I might have to get a couple more hair pieces of Zane, it will be absolutely perfect. So yeah, great minifigure. And taking a look at these minifigures here, you can see we have the three Ninjoids and then taking one Minjoid. So starting off with the one on the far left here, you can see the detailing. We've basically all got the same body and um, body printing and helmet. Well, the helmet is exclusive to, well, technically not exclusive, just, I mean, they two of them have the helmet and two of them don't. Wow, I don't know why I could not get that out there. So there you can see that. I think that looks really cool. Looking at that body printing, then looking at the head, I think that detailing, it looks really good. I would say I think I do prefer the older ones kind of because well they are literally the original and that's kind of my beginning era for Ninjago definitely with the hovercraft is like my first proper Ninjago set that I actually have recollection of and I've got a couple before but it's kind of just a toy not as a Lego item but then here you can see the jetpack one which is kind of well not kind of sorry it is the same body detailing so there's no point showing you the back which is easier to then show you him so there is that and then here is this one, which I'll show them both at the back on the O. So you can see that's the same face, same helmet. And yeah, I think they look really cool. And then looking at these guys from the back here, you can see he has a massive jetpack and these kind of just twist around, which is pretty cool. And it's kind of hard to get him to stand up straight. The weight is kind of too heavy for it. And yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. You can see the jetpack from below. And then you've got this weird like one, which I'll show you what that is for. You can see that. And yeah, here you can see that and that from the back, which has the helmet from the side. And then looking at what else this one can do. What it can do, which is pretty awesome. I think this may have been my first time actually doing it, is putting the elements of this um, sorry, ball chair, the arms. And as you can see, there is his body detailing, which I think that looks pretty awesome. Looking at the mechanical parts, that is pretty awesome there. Sorry, I was looking at the body printing. I know I've already shown you that, but wow, it's really awesome. And yeah, here you can see the arms and there's that shiny ingot, which I think is pretty awesome. But um, yeah, you can kind of add that there. That's kind of what it looks like. You can have him like 
fighting. You can sort of move them more, but it's a bit harder to. But yeah, overall, there is the Mindroid with his extra robonic robonical limbs like the Doc Ock. Taking a look at Cyrus Borg's chair, which is the weirdest thing about Cyrus Borg's chair. That's the better way of saying it now. My apologies. Is the fact we don't have a Cyrus Borg minifigure. We have the Techno one, which is a pretty good minifigure. I don't actually have him on hand at this point in time, but it still doesn't make sense. We've kind of already had his like legs. So why was this a thing? I think it's great, but we might have needed a Cyrus Borg in it. It would have been cool if they may potentially, well, yeah, swapped out one of these minifigures. I would say, being honest here, more probably just get rid of this guy. Um, sorry, mate, you just got to go. And if they had included Cyrus Borg, but then I guess with the wheelchair, we can kind of have, we mostly do have spares of this. Like, for me personally, I did get an extra spare a while ago when I made a customer. Then, um, then I sometimes use it for that other version. But yeah, I think it would have been good if they had included that because we need one. But hopefully next year, we're going to get this uh, UCS or... Or kind of direct to consumer Lego store, uh, Borg Tower. It's kind of been a rumor for the last few years. Maybe hopeful is mostly was kind of fake, but potentially Lego might go. You know what? Fans want it. I think it'd be amazing for non Ninjago fans. And overall, yeah, it's kind of it. I'm sorry, I actually haven't showed you it. This is kind of um, literally just it. You've got this uh, console panel, then you've got this area where they sit. You've got this like pack, which wow, I've literally just realized it's the same thing. Wow, my apologies, guys. I've never actually noticed that it was the same. I should I should have all this information down to tell you for the review, but I kind of just didn't notice. But yeah, there you can see that kind of engine piece, and um, yeah, it's kind of it. And yeah, I do find it a pain trying to get it to like sit properly. And there we go. And then if we want to add a minifigure to it, we can. It's not Cyrus Ball, but hey, that's kind of all we have for this set. And yeah. There that is, guys, and I think that's pretty good. And here we have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, this review. And, yeah, overall, I think it is a really good set. And, yeah, I think it's perfectly done. And not really sure what else to say. It'd be good to build an army of these, but they're £12 a piece. And currently not having a job, it's a lot, a lot harder and there's nothing else to sell for me here. So, yeah, I think it's a good set. If this went down to, like, £3, that would be a dream. Because then you could basically get four for the price of one, which would absolutely be amazing. But that mostly won't happen. So, Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys most probably tomorrow. I'm hoping to have a video out at half 12, but please don't hold me on that. It should be half 12, half 1. But thank you for watching, guys. And until tomorrow's video, bye for now.